Jacob Roloff has no regrets, and hopefully he has a bright and stress-free future ahead. The former Little People Big World star made headlines last week after sharing a lengthy and revealing post on Instagram, in which he talked openly about having been molested by a TLC producer. It is often much easier to think about things than it is to talk about them, and so this disclosure has been delayed, but through that delay, I have found the fortitude and words Jacob wrote at the time. As a child, after what I realize now was a long grooming process, I was molested by an executive field producer for Little People Big World, Chris Cardamone. Wow, huh? Simply awful if true. Jacob did not divulge any details in regard to what transpired, but did emphasize that Cardamon should not be allowed to be near children ever again. I choose to disclose it now as it remains a traumatic memory that needs to be exercised of any further power over my development, the 23-year-old said. Roloff walked away from Little People Big World in the summer of 2016. He claimed back then that he was quitting because he couldn't handle the scripted nature of the series and was sickened by the way his family members acted on screen. Now, over four years later, it's apparent a lot more was going on. By revealing this, I may be more fully understood and my perspective on issues such as child sexual abuse, child exploitation and the collateral costs of reality television may be received more clearly," continued Jacob. Although I would have to add that this experience has not solely defined my point of view on any of these issues, nor has it defined my worldview in general. In the wake of this troubling admission, all of Jacob's loved ones have expressed their love and support for him online. On Friday, meanwhile, Roloff himself wrote his first word on social media since his initial confession. Freedom and strength of mind, Jacob captioned a photo of himself on December 18th, adding, Birds sing after a storm. Why shouldn't people feel so free to bask in whatever sunlight they have left? They absolutely should, Jacob. You've most definitely earned such freedom and strength. Wrote the ex-reality star about his experience and others like it. This may also serve as a reminder that the experience of sexual assault in all of its iterations can happen to anyone at any time and is a far more prevalent reality than our current social stigma allows us to talk about. Jacob concluded his message by questioning the basis of reality television. He called the industry a massive spectacle of drama and pain and argument and invasion, emphasizing that all fault lies with the predator and no fault lies with any of my family members. These were his final lines. I am certain that this is a positive moment for me and another step toward a brighter future. In solidarity with silent survivors, Jacob Roloff. Shortly after Jacob shared his follow-up message online, wife Isabel chimed in as follows. When Jacob and I started dating, I get a taste of what being in the public eye means. It was eye-opening to see that when you are in the public eye, you can't just post whatever you want anymore, because whatever you put out there would usually be followed by a tabloid or a blog talking about it. Not only that, but you'd also get hundreds of comments from strangers about your life and their opinions on it. This gave me anxiety, still does, but I noticed Jacob was curiously calm about it. I remember reading a few awful comments one day and being the sensitive being I am thinking to myself, how does he do this? So I decided to ask him, Jacob, how does none of this bother you? Concluded Isabel in this post. And his response will never leave me, because it showcases the type of grounded, strong and solid person he is and always has been. Well, it simply doesn't bother me because I know who I am, and they don't, so let them talk. You are the most self-assured person I know, and I am in awe of you. You are free, my love, I am so proud of you. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.